Welcome back everybody, today we're going to take a little look at the Sky Wanderers pre-alpha. Basically this I've got access to from a Kickstarter. Um, it's very early pre-alpha and may as well get it out of the way. You can't actually buy the game yet but it will be available soon. And today what I want to do is just take a quick look at some of the blocks that are in the game. So the first little video we're going to do here is taking a look at some of the blocks, the shapes. So we're just going to take a little look around all these here. Um, and then in the next video, we'll look at how to build, things like that. And then I'll show you a couple of things that I've made. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Start over here with the actual hull shapes. So these are all different hull shapes. You've got the cube, wedge, various different corners and pentas and tetras. And then we've got the half slab. Okay, and then we've got various different look at these off shapes for doing your detail work there is a brick system in this game so every brick consists of a, a, like a stud system which we'll show you in a minute and uh, you can place bricks on the studs so you it's like a micro brick system we'll show you that in a minute so taking a look at some of these obviously we've got all the colors on the floor there We've got 8-bit grayscale, and I think it's 16 or 18 colors um, going around there. So taking another look at some of these shapes, we've got some really interesting shapes that you can work with. And I've used a couple of them around here. So obviously the textures themselves, they group together. So if you've got the same type, it's like extended textures. So one, if it's the same piece, it'll form the shape. As you can see here, we've got the various wedging patterns that you probably know and love. Okay, so that's the corner. And now there's this one coming around, looks like that. Um, this is another example of a different type of hull. Okay, so this is just your basic hull block. There's all different types. So here, oh, it's a bit dark, bit dark here. Let's go over this side. So here we've got... Um, an example of how you can put some of these different blocks together. Okay, so look at that one there. You can make some really interesting shapes with these blocks. Uh, this is a different hull type. Now, not all the hull types have the same shapes. Some of them have additional shapes. Okay, so here we go. We've got the different types of hull. Hull, I think that one was tiled. I think this one was rusty I think this one was computer systems or something I can't remember but if you look at this we've got we've got a uh, quarter three quarters I think a half and a full um, and then this one's the modern so yeah and then over here we've got four different grades of wedge so you can have a four by one wedge using these blocks and there's also wood so we've got our wooden blocks and wooden wedges. I think this one was grass. I don't know why it's yellow or hay or something. I don't know, bales perhaps. Um, these are some of the uh, cockpit like canopies. They do tile together. I think I've got some examples of that somewhere else. So there's some corners. You can just about see them. There they are. And this one's got no edges. These ones have edges, but they do te the textures auto fill. So, got some uh, some cylinders, a few of these lights. There's a diagonal light as well, which goes diagonally. This thing emits light too. Okay, he's had symmetry building this, so we've seen everything down here. Right, so yeah, this here is some of the grates that you use. So you can use these as like, obviously it's all for decoration, you know, but you can build more interesting things here. And again, you build one, you build two, it blends together, as you can see. So it looks like one two piece, but it's actually two blocks that have connected. And it's a very clever system. 
you've probably seen it in other games. So again, here we go, showing how the different textures, that's all, those three are the same. So you can see how it's only using the greys on the ends, so that's useful. Um, these are all like interior wall designs with various different textures on. Okay. And then if we go back over here, we've got some more pieces. The flat wedge, flat tile. God, I should have used that. Uh, we've got the two, these, here we go with the studs. These are like consoles for you to put contraptions on. So like if I wanted to put a joystick down, I could just, and then they've got a joystick. It's right click to link things up, but I'll, I'll, I'll show you more of that later. So here's a half one, if you don't want it to be quite so large. Um, we've got some domes and some collar sections. So looking at some of these, these are like wingy bits and the wingy bits uses that stud system I briefly showed. So I've just stuck these on randomly to show all the different triangle shapes, but you can obviously build these into proper things. These are like solar sort of sail type things. Some interesting pieces and like a diagonal strut, got various different triangles and studs. It's a lot like Lego. It's more like a, a blend of Lego and space engineers. It's quite interesting. Um, but yeah, so that pretty much takes a look at everything up here. So uh, we'll just go down over here now and we'll check out a few of the logical blocks. So we've got all types of things. We've got AND gates, OR gates, um, various other things that are not, obviously. Uh, we've got a MIX gate, which I think is that one. There's a router, which I think is... There's a couple of them I haven't actually used yet. As I use them, I'll put up examples of how they work, but I'm still figuring this out too. I've only been playing it for, what, a couple of days at this point? I think I checked it out when it first came, and I thought I'd give them a little bit of time, and the improvement in the last month is uh, unbelievable. So that's a little hollow map, which is used for navigating and warping. You can do that. There's like an explorable system. Here we have uh, the mini version of a rotator, so you can make contraptions with the micro blocks too. Um, and here's a whole bunch of advanced logic things, so I haven't used any of these yet. But I think these are for the mouse and these might be for the joystick. I thought they were hotkeys for the keyboard, but they don't seem to work like that. Here we've got a couple of little random things I put together with some of the micro block decorations. These are transparent, so it's like glass or something, I guess. We've got transparent cubes and little... Like I say, it's a lot like Lego. A lot of the pieces that you probably remember if you've ever played with a set are in there. Here we have the different controllers. So we've got a single joystick, you know, like a handlebar type joystick, and then single joysticks which are like the easiest ones to use and most compact um, a lot of the time you're using this which is like a repeater so you've got it's a jewel a jewel I'm just gonna find out what they actually call it quickly it's a dual link gate so signal comes into the blue and then it comes out of the red but I'll cover more of that in later videos so yeah, that's the logic. Over here we have some of the contraptions where we can wire things up. So we've got slider switches, toggle switches. Um, I believe these are for turret and targeting, which I, again, haven't got into yet. Uh, I've got a couple of weapon systems up here. A missile, a gun, a laser, a big laser and a little laser, I think. Is that is that? A few of uh, these screens can be hooked up. And we've got a camera unit as well, which you can control with the turret or just to look outside your ship if you don't have a windscreen so there's a lot of options with that again uh, we've got the speedo i didn't take a look at that the mini hologram uh, the various different screens windows over here we've got some more of the systems oh, we'll take a look at these decorative blocks first we've got like little windows flowers grass random little shapes i've just stacked them up in random little little shapes. It's all a funny colour though. I think the textures are pretty flat on these at the moment, but like I say, it's uh, early pre-alpha. Here we have a uh, rail. That's, that's 
not wanting to go over there for some reason. It should do, but it doesn't. Oh, right that way. Normally that would go along the extender, God knows. Ah, wait, look, see, it's not actually lined up. So God knows what happened there. There we go. Right, anyway, there's a panel. These are the rotors, which are really useful. I'll show you some demos of those in a bit. This is the big, the big rail. These are uh, item displays or something. And we've got a couple of items on them. That's the chair. Over here we've got a storage block, which you can use to store stuff. And a power block, which I don't know if it's functional, but these will generate power. So, Okay, so again, this is all in symmetry. So I'll just take a look at some of these micro block patterns here. You can see the studs when you've got one in hand, but if I take them away, you can't see the studs. Okay. So we've got various different shapes. And I've literally just thrown these down as a sort of example of the types of shapes that you can use. I think we've covered all the block types now. So again, there's the color range. Color range is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty complete. You've got them all there. I think there's even a way to do custom coloring, but I haven't actually looked. I don't know, so I can't confirm until I've done it. Over here we've got a little sign I put together for the intro, so uh, hopefully you could read it. <laughs> it turned out to be a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. So uh, the basic gist of it is try not to get crushed. So this is demonstrating something you can do with the hinges at the moment. Uh, what I've got set up is a, a rail, which is moving the layering up, and then I've got a, a whole bunch of stacked wrote uh, hinges which are down here we got some Z fighting but that's okay this is the logic now I'm not gonna bore you with it yet all I'm gonna say is that these are delays so all those are banks of delays so every hinge has a, a delay and an input so we're gonna keep it brief but I'll explain how this works in a different video um, essentially you push this button and it opens at it from the other side in a minute and it sends the rail up you hit the top button and it wraps it up and puts it down so if we look at it from the front now you'll see what happens so they're all just opening on a slight delay so you get this nice rolling effect and there's your sign so yeah, anyway, I did that today just for the fun. So let's take a look at some doors. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll split this up. So um, thanks for watching this episode. Subscribe, like, share. And if you're interested, check out the next episode, which will cover a couple of doors.